Hello guys. So I am back with another video where I'll be talking about a university scholarship offered by GIST that is Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology in South Korea. So all you have to do is that before diving into the scholarship I would like to tell you about this institution. So as you can see when you type GIST Korea on Google you will get all info about this university as this university is in Gwangju city of South Korea and it's a research oriented university so uh, this is a public university basically and it has a QS ranking of around 265 this year so it's pretty good university and if you get a university scholarship as well apart from uh, you know government scholarships like GKS so it's a good option to think about <laughs> so Why? let's dive into the scholarship and let's see how to apply it so before to, to know about this scholarship all you have to do is that you have to type GIST scholarship 2022 on Google and then you will get a uh, several page results and what you have to do is that you have to just click on this link that is GIST international graduate admissions but uh, before uh, going deeper I would like to tell you that this is only for masters and PhD students so if you if you're planning to do masters or PhD this is for you so once you click this link this page will be open and there you will find this option graduate admissions uh, which was released on 26th of July 2021 so you click on it and then you will get a detailed page notice page on this application and as you can see that the deadline is 15th of October 2021 so you have to uh, work on the application quite fast and then you have to submit everything but the best thing about this application is that this is completely an online application so you don't have to send any application to South Korea or any documents to South Korea what what the f so just you have to fill the online application and this on the portal and then you have to submit it so yeah so uh, and here you can see there is a guideline so you just have to click it and then guidelines will be downloaded and just to read this one page guideline and you will know about this scholarship and how to apply okay so i will read that for you as you can see in this scholarship if you get the scholarship and admission to this university your tuition fee will be covered then matriculation fee that is around uh, 680000 core in one so if you submit a letter of recommendation for a waiver you can also get this so that is not an issue now talking about monthly stipends you will be getting around 140,000 100,000 plus 120,000 of a stipend per month that is the first three stipends are per month and the fourth one is per year so you can see how how much stipend you will be getting in MS and how much stipend you will be getting in PhD so that's it and yeah so uh, there is a requirement so actually once you do a semester in this and for getting this scholarship continued in next semester you have to uh, keep a GPO of 3 on a scale of 4.5 so this is a this is a requirement you have to look on to and uh, because since it's a university scholarship it's a competitive scholarship so at least 3 out of 4.5 is expected from you to score now talking about flight reimbursement so they are all they are also providing you one way flight ticket to korea that's great because uh, many scholarships don't provide travel reimbursement but they are providing it and health insurance also they are providing 60 percent of the health insurance is supported so it's a pretty good scholarship it's like uh, equivalent to i would say global korea scholarship so yeah so now we will be talking about requirements for this scholarship so as you can see you if you are applying for master's degree then you should hold at least bachelor's degree and if you are applying for PhD then you should hold bachelor's plus master's degree and you should have uh, your degree by the first week of January if you are applying for spring semester because we this application is focused on spring semester and the deadline is 15th of October to 2021 so what all things are mandatory online application of course then official degree and transcript and uh, if you are in final year of your uh, program like 
uh, then you can get a expected certificate graduation cert uh, certificate from your university stating that you will be graduating soon and uh, you can submit that into the online application and if you have your degree then no problem at all you can just upload it and uh, upload the scanned copy of the original degree and then you can go ahead with the application then uh, the another thing you will be needing here is two letter of recommendations so what you is has to do is that uh, you have to upload your upload a scanned copy of the LOR. So what? So you can ask your professor to you know write a LOR for you. Uh, two of your professors from your previous university or the current university which you are attending, and then just scan it, make a PDF copy of it, and then upload it on the system. So make sure that uh, that LOR should contain the recommender's signature and stamp. It says recommendation, recommender's signature or stamp, but I would say that both should be there to make it look more presentable. Also, the last thing mandatory here is that English test score report. So you have to take either TOEFL or IELTS or TOEIC or the new TEPS. So these, these are the minimum scores you have to at least have to you know apply for this scholarship. Then there are other things like if you want this matriculation fee waiver which i was talking about then you can uh, write a letter of recommendation from the department chair of your, your home university to you know requesting that please uh, waive the matriculation fee and and there there are some conditional admissions also like uh, suppose if your medium of instruction in your home university is in english so you can get a letter from your university itself and skip this toefl and i'll stop uh, TOEIC requirement so you can do that but I would I would suggest you to go for these uh, international examinations because they can add some values to your application now talking about the deadline so the deadline is uh, October 15th for spring semester and April 15th for fall semester but we are focusing on the spring semester so October 15 is a deadline for you and uh, you have to fill the application online as I said earlier also you don't have to send anything so you just click on this link and this this system will be open you just have to apply here and as you can see the, everything is mentioned here the deadlines the examination of documents they will take around 15 days they will take around uh, documents review for 30 days and you will get the results by mid of December and your registration will begin in early January next year so yeah this is the, all about this scholarship and this is again explained about the scholarships what you will be getting then the requirements and everything mentioned here again as per this pdf so this was all about this scholarship and as you can see uh, it's pretty straightforward application you just have to make an account here you just have to fill all the details upload the documents and then submit it so yeah this this is a this is a pretty straightforward application so if you have any problem with this application you can always message me on instagram follow me on instagram and i will be happy to answer your queries and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel so i can make more videos about such scholarships and you will you will get to know more about such videos in future